Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. So this is gonna be your love and general reading for November 15th through the 30th, okay? So I just wanna say thank you so much, my Leos, for supporting me per usual. I love your energy that you guys bring, love your enthusiasm, and love reading your comments, okay? For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium, I read tarot intuitively, I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, and I am a medium. So I do offer mediumship readings. Um, and I will leave all my information below for a personal reading, you guys. I'm only taking question based for now, just because I need to catch up on my in-depth readings. But I will let you guys know as soon as I start taking on in-depth readings again okay so also check out my instagram for testimonials reviews i do pick a card readings on a daily i try to do a daily basis um pick a card um i also offer manifestation tips using crystals and a bunch of cool stuff so check me out okay leo well <laughs> how are we really doing this month though let's let's hear it let's hear it leo <laughs> Because uh, let's talk about the shenanigans and all the skeletons that have been coming out the closet with the people that we thought were down, right? Um, yeah, a lot has been exposed for Leo so far. And I'm really feeling that, you know, the end of the month is going to be another, just another burst of movement forward, okay? So let me get a little channeled message here. Let's see, let's start with the general energies for Leo. I'm hearing fixing a foundation. So the focus, I am intuitively picking up that the focus is going to be foundation, whether that is home, whether that is your partnerships, whether that is your friendships, whatever home or stability means to you, I am hearing there is going to be a sense of fixing foundation, fixing your sense of stability, okay? I feel a lot of you guys at the end of the month are really going to be in a, in a state of, um, You guys want something really bad, Leo. You want something really bad. And I feel what I'm seeing, I'm getting a vision that you guys are standing in front of this door and this door will not open. And some of you guys may feel a little discouraged because of this. It's like this door is not opening for you and it's frustrating you, okay? I'm hearing new beginnings on the other side. So this door for you, Leo, is a representation of something new. There is something here that's being withheld from you and it's driving you crazy at the end of the month. So I will say, the one thing we're not good at as Leos, patience, okay? So whenever I want to channel a specific element, especially at the end of the month, I really want you guys to channel the element of earth, okay? For my Leos who are all fire or have a lot of air in their chart, okay? I want you guys to connect with the earth and also connect with people who are earth signs or earth dominance because there is a lesson here about endurance. There's a lesson here about patience, about owning the end goal by putting in the necessary work that maybe you guys do not want to put in right now, okay? Leos are extremely hardworking, extremely focused. So when you want something, whether it's love or career, you're on it. You have like a laser beam focus. So this goal that you guys have in mind at the end of the month, I'm hearing is going to take perseverance and time. The best way to feel like you are accomplishing these goals is to put one foot in front of the other and move slow. Even if you feel you're not moving at all, move. Yeah? 
So you would even benefit from maybe a dance class, a workout class. It's like everything is connected, right? Mind, body, soul. So if you can get in the habit of an actual exercise routine, it's like your spirit and your mind is going to be in motion. Does that make sense? Some of you guys feel like you're in a rut, okay? Some of you guys are feeling a little stuck right now at the end of the month or you may be feeling like something that you want is out of reach. It's not out of reach. Manifest, okay? This is the time to manifest. When something feels stuck, it's just your energy feeling stagnant. It has nothing to do, unless your ancestors are saying no, you know, the only time I withhold from manifesting is when my ancestors are like, no, not right now. No, this isn't the time. Then I sit down and I calm down. But otherwise, I feel like you guys need to tune in to your, your magician energy, okay? Because there are so many opportunities, but this one door won't open for you because it requires a complete self-mastery that you are on your way to doing at the end of the month. So general energies for Leo, please. November 15th through You're going to have a lot of distractions, distractions that involve lower vibrational energies. People are just, you know, probably trying to throw you off your game. Maybe you're doing something that a lot of other people are not doing and they're envious. You're going to have a lot of shit going on. Okay. You may be tempted to kind of, um, you know, dive into a sense of fear in your life at the end of the month, but this is in reverse. So this is saying you are coming out of the shadow, the shadow energy. So it's time to really own your light, okay? I'm hearing troubleshooting, so yes. Uh, there are things in your life right now at the end of the month that are, that are gonna be, feel very like small, like irritating things that are kind of trying to like block you, but it's a matter of how bad do you want it, Leo? How bad do you want it? And when we want something, you guys can't tell me that when we want something, we don't invest our full body, mind, soul. Like there is no stopping the Leo when we want something. Whether it's a person, whether it's a whatever, a goal. I want you guys to have that kind of drive. So when you got people trying to throw you off your game at the end of the month, you're like, skirt, deflect, skirt, deflect. Okay, because we ain't got time. Leo. I am rooting for you guys to end this year with a bang. Even my Leos who are a little bit on the Shire side, even my Leos who feel like you haven't amounted to shit, like this is your time. It's not 2020 right now, but it's like 2019. Let's get this shit done. We're still in it. Yeah? Okay. So, Leo, November 15th here, 30th. <clears throat> There is someone, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's going to be getting on your nerves, okay? I'm telling you right now. I don't know if this is a partner. I don't know if this is a friend. But there's someone who keeps trying to disturb your peace. This person, it's like I see you trying to meditate by a waterfall. Like you're really trying to get in your zen. This person is like really interrupting your peace. Again, distractions. Allow yourself to remove unnecessary distractions and you have to be strong, okay? Some of you guys may be a little bit worried. You're feeling frustrated. You're feeling emotionally blocked. Your sacral chakra needs attention. The sacral chakra represents um, your creativity, your emotions, your sexuality, okay? So general energies for Leo, November 15th through the 30th. What are the challenges here? Baby. Listen. I mean, these cards are amazing. So if you're the Leo who has been in your head, because I'm feeling an anxious energy, 
There's nothing to be anxious about. I'm about to show you these cards. You've got a lot happening for you right now, okay? A lot is in your favor. So this is a time to be grateful and to give thanks to the creator and to give back, okay? You have a lot of abundance coming your way at the end of the month. It's time to like really get your mind right. Don't let your mind get in the way of your manifestations, okay? So what's the biggest challenge for Leo here? I'm hearing break out of routine. Leo, some of you guys need to break out of your routine, whether it's that you have been so focused. A lot of you guys have been so focused on your on your money, your foundation, that it's almost obsessive, which is fine. Like, I get it. I can't even hate on that. Like, I have nothing to say. I would be a hypocrite if I said I didn't understand. I understand. But the end of the month is going to be about a new wave, a new wave of doing things. You guys need to take time to find your source of peace and creativity, okay? Some of you guys may need to really connect with your community, start, you know, making proper alliances in terms of your life so you feel connected, so you feel that you are actually, you know, a part of this universe, that you are really in your life purpose. Some of you guys are feeling a little bit strained, like you don't know what you're doing or you feel like you're the only one who's struggling or you have a, a bit, there's a bit of sadness here, okay? But look at this, you are the magician. You're gonna be manifesting from your heart space. So this is gonna sound funny, but for Leos, this is my recommendation. When I really wanna manifest something, that is when I let love in because there's nothing more creative and powerful for me than love. Even if it's like in the moment, let's just share a cup of coffee, let's look at each other and like enjoy the moment or even anything, like a small gesture of affection, like let's hold hands for one second. That for a Leo will send your, your heart like on fire. We love to be in love, okay? So if you're looking for a source of inspiration, tune into your heart space, tune into your heart chakra and start giving love, receiving love, tune into that lovey-dovey feeling of yourself because that is going to actually help you create this firm foundation that you guys want really bad. As long as you're not hurting nobody out there, Leos, because we can be heartbreakers, you know? Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're really tuning into the act of love. Love doesn't have to be forever, you guys. I know that sounds outlandish, like what? But if you can really tune in to the appreciation and gratitude of love in the moment and you're looking, if you're a Leo who's like, I don't know what my source of inspiration is, love. Even if it's like telling your friend you love them, accept love, watch your heart just open and then watch your, your creations come into fruition. Your focus is your home. Okay, a lot of you guys are really worried. There's a lot going on. I feel like there's a disruption in harmony um, in terms of your foundation because you have a lot of people who are trying your patience. Okay, you may have a father figure here or someone who's masculine in energy trying to block your abundance or they're trying to block your progress, but you're not gonna let it happen because everything you want is coming towards you, okay? Break out of old patterns. Start a new class. I'm hearing start a new something. This is the time to start a new creation. I know we're in Mercury in retrograde, but that doesn't mean you can't start a new foundation with something you already know how to do, something that you love. Get out there. Look at what kind of classes are out there. Start a new project, okay? Now, let's move into love. Hmm. All right, Leo, what's going on for my babies in love here? We're always loving somebody. Who are you guys loving? Until they make us upset and then we're like, bye, right? All right, Leo, let's see. November 15th. Love, 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 love.
Okay, some of you guys are feeling really sad about a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It's like there's a longing here. There's something that's that's happening here with this person. And I feel like there is almost like a pain about this. Like there's a lot of heaviness in your heart about this connection. It's like you're looking at the moon and you're longing for this person. I am getting a vision of the moon here, which means for me, the moon is a representation of illusions. It could be, it can mean deception. It can mean our own shadow work needing to be done. It can mean several things, but um, I am picking up a vision of like sadness, like a lot of dark energy surrounding your heart. Especially with another Aries, but it could be Leo Sag, okay? I'm hearing jumping on board. So some of you guys are actually getting on a train and you're leaving. It's like you're deciding to kind of move away from something, okay? Like you're deciding to really hold on and protect yourself, Leo. You're protecting yourself because, again, you do have people who are being deceptive around you that are only in it for less here, okay? I am seeing some of that. So be aware of that. You know who that is when I say it. Some of you guys are really protecting yourself at the end of the month. Like you're holding on to yourself. You're holding on to your emotions. You're trying to protect your, your happiness. There will be communication with someone here. Um, I feel like someone's spying on you. Okay. There is going to be a transformation and ending to a situation. Again, uh, like I said, I had a vision of you guys like, um, getting on a, a train or a bus or something and you're moving away from something that made you really sad like you're really making a decision to like end it with a fire sign here um, I am seeing Leo a lot of air energy as well some of you guys are gonna be connecting with the Libra Gemini Aquarius energy strong Libra here this person, there is a strong telepathic communication and a very amazing amount of chemistry when it comes to communication. But what I'm feeling is that um, I'm hearing one-sided. So something here is one-sided, okay? So be careful for that. Yeah, you guys are definitely taking new... You're, you're finally embarking on something new. You're going to leave people in the past, like, in the dust. You're like, look, I got to go. I got to go. A Leo will be loyal to the end of time, but once we leave, we're out, right? Okay, so who's coming in for you, Leo? I do feel a strong air sign. There's a lot of communication here. Who's coming in for you, Leo? November 15th through the... Wow. Some of you guys are in a third party situation and don't even know it at the end of the month and you're going to maybe know about it or um, there's something here happening. Yeah. So this is what I'm looking at. So some of you guys are actually caught up in a third party situation with a possible Libra. Could be a water sign as well. There's a lot of water energy here with well, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. I feel like you may be dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, who already has a partner, and there's a lot of, like, infidelity. I'm getting a lot of infidelity here, so be careful for an air sign or an earth sign who wants to come towards you with an offer because they may already have something happening, and I feel like you're feeling a little, like, stuck right now in matters of love. You're, you're kind of trying to, you know, start something new. And I do feel there's going to be a great amount of chemistry with someone new coming in. And it could be that air sign or earth sign. Strong Virgo is coming in as well. But this person, make sure that they've cleared up whatever messy drama they got going on. Because I'm seeing third party here. And a lot of you guys are deciding to kind of really hold strong boundaries. You're not letting anyone in your space. And you're letting it be all about yourself. Like... You know, like, I think some of you guys are really deciding to hold off and sacrifice love for now 
for the greater purpose of loving yourself. So I'm seeing two stories, strong um, air, earth coming in for new love, but make sure that they clear up whatever messiness they got going on. And others of you are just deciding, just hold off to the end of the month like you don't want. It's like you're, you're allowing a lot of the dead weight to die so you can really wait for the person who deserves you. Okay, Leo, mwah. let me know if that resonates. Comment below. Talk soon. Bye.